be, I'm a be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm a be, I'm a be. Hey, hey, welcome to Half the Battle. And welcome, my friends, to Cobra Convergence. Now, it's a bit of a tradition for me to pick a really bad toy to review, Hello Cobra Rat, for this event. And that was totally my intention this time too. Except after picking the subject, I ended up liking it. I may have gone insane, so join me on this journey to see what the hell happened. Meet the Battle Hornet. This vehicle was released in 2004 with all original parts. And for a small vehicle, that sure is a lot to take in. It looks goofy, though futuristic. It's in your face, though oddly restrained. It's sleek looking, yet stocky. This thing is a land of contrasts. Let's go into detail, starting with the color scheme. The colors are actually the reason why I first picked this toy to review. Why? Because my brain lied to me. What I mean is, my memory of this thing was completely wrong. I thought the colors were reversed, meaning mostly yellow with black stripes. Which this clearly isn't! Is this because of the Mandela effect? Or maybe I had seen a prototype like 20 years ago? I have no idea. Now, in my defense, I had this on a top shelf where I keep all of my flying vehicles for years, so I hadn't actually looked at it for a very long time. And when you think of a hornet, or a bee, or a wasp, the first color that springs to mind is yellow with some black. Frankly, I blame this on Bumblebee. So what I'm left with is a pretty good looking vehicle. Overall black, which harkens back to the original Cobra vehicles like the Hiss, with yellow and orange parts. Yes, there's orange, but it isn't neon, so I'm okay with it. Finally, underneath, there's a bit of silver. Detailing is a bit sparse on the mold. There's some rivets and plating on what I suppose you could call the wings as well as the tail, but a lot of the plastic is just smooth. Even the inside of the cockpit could use some more details. That means the pre-applied stickers need to do some heavy lifting here, but there aren't many of those either. You've got Cobra logos, warning labels and a dashboard. The best part is the yellow canopy which has painted hexagon cells on it. Oh, and I checked, and yes, hornets like bees do make hexagon cells, so that tracks. The working missile launcher, because of course this thing has one, is also detailed. Going further with the hornet motif, it looks like a stinger, though the insect has it coming out of its ass, not in the front. Granted, it would look silly on the toy if it came out the back. That brings us to the play value. So, there's the rocket launcher, which could turn 360 degrees if the landing gear didn't get in the way, but can't move up or down. Well, it sort of wobbles, but that's not a feature. There's two rather unique looking bombs that attach from the wings, and two missiles that attach from the landing struts. Ah, those struts! Those are actually another feature, the main feature I would say. There's a button on top of the thing, and when you push it, the struts snap together. Well, when you're holding it anyway, it doesn't quite work when it's on the ground, duh. At first I thought this was just to retract the landing gear, but according to the box, it's actually for grabbing stuff or people. And it does work, you can pick up a figure, but it feels pretty flimsy. And those are the only play features that Battle Hornet has. Yep, that's totally all of them. Yes sir, we are done. Oh, okay, it has sound too, but the batteries have long since run out, so I can't actually show you. And that's fine with me. If I wanted loud and obnoxious things in my house, I would have had kids. Overall, yeah, the thing is goofy as hell, but I think I kinda love it. You can even say I rediscovered this toy by choosing to review it, and I hope you guys have now discovered it too. Of course, the Battle Hornet came with a pilot, so we should at least briefly look at it. <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing! So that's why I got confused about the vehicle's colors. Every time I thought about it, I pictured this guy who is far more yellow. Yeah, this is a recolored Neo Viper, and I bet he created quite a buzz when he walked in the barracks. Look, this color scheme might work if you're a Power Ranger, but it'll never make you the Queen Bee with Cobra. He looks like if Bumblebee turned human and joined the bad guys for some reason. Imagine getting bio-enhanced to become a Neo Viper, then going to flight school to learn to pilot the latest, most high-tech and deadly Cobra jet, 
only for that uniform to be waiting for you. I don't know about you guys, but I would be all like... No, not the bees! Not the bees! Okay, okay, enough with the bee puns. Yeah, this figure looks stupid. So, of course, I have two! That way they can share the pain. And that was the Battle Hornet. A cool little flyer once you get to know it, with a figure that's the shame of his core. Huh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. There you go. Well, enjoy the rest of Cobra Convergence, everybody. I'll see you next time, everybody. And hey, why not like, share, and subscribe if that's your thing? I am not dressing up in a bee costume for this. Well, in that case, you don't get to do a cameo for me. But I'm doing a cameo right now. Oh, son of a...